Hey racers, welcome to the channel Race to Win. You might have seen the update breakdown video for 0.9.11 and I have shown a Lamborghini Temerario event called the new era. Some people commented that they weren't able to access it and it is nowhere to be found in my game as well. So I asked a developer about that and he said that the event is bugged and will be fixed by the next update. He was kind enough to fix it for me. So yeah, if it shows completed or doesn't even appear on the map, don't worry, a fix is coming soon. So what we are going to do now is to try to finish this event, not just by taking the most pay to win car, but by using a free to play Lamborghini. I mean, I'm not gonna create content if I yoink a paid AC63 and fly through the event. So first, let us check out the cars that are eligible for this race. By the way, all are Lamborghini for obvious reasons. The SC63 is a paid car, part of the concept's car pack. The Cop Revialto is a paid car, part of the Hunter's pack. The Aventura Ultimate, by the way, is a free to play, available in crates and it is diamond rarity. The new Countach was available in an event which requires an old Countach from Joe's workshop. This Aventura SV is pretty common in crates. The Huracan Technica is still available in crates at a 10x drop rate which is the easiest Lamborghini in this list that you can get. The old Contage can be restored from Joe's workshop. The Lamborghini Urus was available in crates at a 10x drop rate. You can get it in this event as well. From the recommended section of these wearing car packs which are no longer available. So as I have said earlier, we are going to choose a race fleet of free to play cars and see if we can finish it. I have selected the Huracan Technica, Aventura SV and the Countach. And you're going to see why I'm gonna regret selecting the Countach later. First 20 races required you to use the first car in race fleet. These races were pretty easy as you can see that I am using a stock car for these. And I have equipped the supercharger and the clutch that was given by this event. It was a breeze. This was the gear ratio that I have used for the stock Huracan Technica. I have made a whole video for this car, make sure you check that out. Moving forward, the next races we were supposed to use the second car from Race Fleet, which in our case is the Aventador SV. And to my surprise, the opponent gapped me like crazy. So I have decided to max out this car and tune it. These are its max stats with all the best parts equipped. I kept tuning this car as I have progressed through this event. This is my fastest run. Even if it was my fastest run, I was struggling to stay consistent with it because my finger slips the gear up button and I had to restart the race several times but at race 40 you need to be 7.8 seconds half mile which was almost easy at race 41 to my surprise actually it wasn't that surprising the opponents obviously kept getting faster at this point the Countach isn't fast but to my luck I have discovered that you can change the car that you have confirmed for race fleet so we are still gonna stay free to play the Aventador SV may not be useful anymore because it can't get any faster. Huracan. I could go for the Aventador Ultimate, but that will be for another video where I build the Lamborghini Aventador Ultimate and try to beat this new difficult event. So yeah, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that. These videos take a lot of effort to make so a like would be very helpful. And why not share this video to your friends who actually play this game. And let me know if you want to see a how to tune gears video, it will take some time to make that. Stay tuned for more Apex Racer content and keep racing.